Hey everybody, welcome back to All About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about Judas and the Black Messiah. Judas and the Black Messiah is a rated R historical drama, it's two hours and six minutes long. You can find this movie in theaters and on HBO Max. It did drop February the 12th. It does star Daniel Kaluuya, who plays Fred Hampton, and Lakeith Stanfield, who plays William O'Neill. Now in this movie, we are following William, who is an FBI informant. We do see how he becomes an FBI informant, basically. Uh, Jesse Plemons, who plays Roy Mitchell, kind of picks him up, gives him a deal, either jail time or be our informant and of course he chooses to be the informant. They want him to infiltrate the Illinois Black Panther party. We're in Chicago, we're talking about police brutality, we're talking about injustice, I mean totally not relevant right now, right? They actually ended up branding the Panthers as one of the greatest national security threats over like the Russians or the Chinese. They just found them to be a huge threat. They didn't like that they were organizing, they didn't like what they were doing. One of the things that Hampton was actually trying to do was Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color and when i first saw the trailer you guys i got really pumped i went "Ooh, yes you sold me i am so ready for this movie it looks great i've been hearing a lot of great things about this movie already so i was really looking forward to it sadly whenever i put my expectations really high up for a movie it always kind of lets me down not to say that the movie's terrible because it's not at all at all like don't come after me for people who absolutely love and adore and say that this is the best movie of the year i mean that's your own opinion for me personally, unfortunately, it's not the best movie of the year. So unfortunately, I did have a few issues with the pacing. I feel like the movie could have been just a tad bit shorter. And I think it would have had my full on attention. And I totally see this movie have been like up there with like everybody else of loving and adoring this movie. But I don't know, it just didn't quite grab me and didn't quite get me there. It just kind of lost me at some point. The performances were absolutely amazing. Kaluuya's performance was absolutely amazing. It was great, it was powerful. Uh, a revolutionary. Uh, hey. a revolutionary. He already has a Golden Globe nomination, SAG, and the Critics' Choice nomination as well. So could an Oscar be right up the alley? He was nominated uh, a couple years back for Get Out. So could this be his second nomination? Or I think it's his second nomination. I mean, what are your guys' thoughts on his performance and you know his chances of winning an award? Um, I mean, he did amazing. And I know everybody's really focusing on him, but I also really dug Lakeith Stanfield's performance. I think he did really good as uh, playing uh, William O'Neill. Before I do give you my score on Judas and the Black Messiah, go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I am trying to get to 500 subscribers by the summer, so hopefully you can help me get uh, to that goal. Now, Judas and the Black Messiah, as much as I did enjoy it, I didn't love it like everybody else seems to be loving it, but I do still recommend it. It is on HBO Max. You can also catch it in theaters. I think I should maybe give it another go and I could possibly get to that love that everybody has to it. I really went in here thinking I'm gonna love this movie and then I'm just like no. So with that said I am giving Judas and the Black Messiah a medium popcorn. So we're right there in the middle you guys so don't hate me too much. Of course you guys as always until next time I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!